Rode one of those. Not that year. This is funny. <laughs> oh yeah, son. Some brapping right there. That's some serious brap, people. Serious brapping. Oh yeah. Rap, rap, rap. Oh, shit. The screamer. Serious four stroke action. That sounds nasty. Watch this. Where's that, England? Yeah, he's already in Paris. Pilla. That sounds nasty. Listen to that. <laughs> They're like, hell yeah. Two stroke. RD 500, very popular, um, 80s, I don't know what year that one is, I rode one of those, those are, man, the two-stroke, that's a uh, four-cylinder two-stroke, the front ends are so hard to keep down on those things, the front end just wants to come up all the time, see how the front end starts to float up? Serious brapping, people. Things are quick, too. Ah. 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 A little 
little muggy sound effects. Wah, wah. Now this thing, I don't know, this thing looks uglier than hell, but. I mean, I never heard of that bike. Ugly ass bike. That bike was ugly. Sounded pretty badass though. What's up, Nitro Nation? Man, uh, yes, the Muggy did ride street bikes too. Um, I didn't get, I, that's something I just dabbled in. Thank God, or I probably would have been dead by now. Um, <laughs> I would have got killed plenty of times. I rode an R1, I rode an R6. Uh, the RD400s, I rode those. Um, I rode a Honda RCR 500. Um, GSXR 750. Uh, Ninja 600, smaller ones. I only rode a few. The biggest bike I rode was a Yamaha R1. I think it was like a, I want to say 2008, 2009. It was the older ones. I don't know, those things geared up now on R1, Yamaha, because you guys know I like Yamaha's. They're geared up, R1, probably about 200 at least. Um, the fastest I ever went was uh, on the R6. I got it up to like 140, and it was, it was, it was hairy because if you don't have steering stabilizers, the, um, the front end started floating. I, I was, it was on the freeway, and I was interchanging another freeway. And I just got on it. And I'm, I'm small. I mean, the muggy weighs about... I mean, you guys see me. I'm like 5'7 on a good day, 5'8, whatever. I, I used to be 5'8. It was 5'7. You shrink when you get older. But on, 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 and I'm probably weighing in soaking wet at, you know, like a buck fifty. So, I mean, like the 500s, I had to tippy-toe and I had to set the sag in the back so I can actually get on this, the 500 two-strokes. But on the street bikes, um... The R1 was pretty nasty. I didn't really, I only rode it up and down the street. It was my friends a few times, and I was like, here, take this away from me before I kill myself. But the um, R6, um, I used to ride one to work all the time, and I was riding to work. Early in the morning, there wasn't any traffic. There was like hardly anybody in the freeway. And I got up to about 140, and the front end started to float up a little bit, and that's when I was like, oh, I'm good. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. But anyway, I. I didn't do as much street riding, uh, street bikes as I did, um, dirt bikes, you know, um, and they're, they're dangerous, man, especially these days, the way people drive, I mean, depending on where you live, unless you live way out, you know, out in the outskirts, um, you know, where, where, you, you know, it's just like a Lamborghini, you know, where, where are you gonna open the thing up at, except, you know, on some open road way out, you know, not in Southern California anymore, um, but anyway, um, welcome all muggy maniacs, truggy maniacs, buggy maniacs, monster truck maniacs, and fifth scale insaniacs. So, what you guys should have watched by now, because by the time I upload this video, hopefully most of you will have watched, uh, the first running of the Techno Buggy. And, man, let me tell you, this thing handles very well. Um, I like the way it, it responds. It's it's easy to drive. Um, compared to my Mugen, it, it's kind of hard to say. You know what I mean? This thing's 15, they're 15 years apart. Um, if it, you know, it, it's just pillow balls and C-hubs are a different feel. Um, this thing steers really well, though. Um, I liked it. Um, but I really am impressed by this. This is the first... I think. Is it the first? Yeah, this is the first bone stock Nobro C.21 that I've ever that I've ever drove. It's the first one. Because you guys know I have the OS, I have Reds, uh, I have an Ofna. So I never really had a... Uh, this is the first... Uh, um, yeah, it is. First 21 Nobro C. I'm very impressed. This P5... Um, Bonestock P5 Novarossi, um, 
Uh, it's a five port. I think the P stands for uh, pea shooter. <laughs> and we're going to talk about pea shooters uh, for a minute. Um, because I I'm getting a collection of pea shooters now. And I never thought I would. You guys know how I am about pea shooters. Point twenty ones don't do a lot for me. Some don't really do anything for me. Um, unless they're modded. But I was very impressed by this thing. If you guys watched the video and seen it run, this thing is pretty nasty. Now, it did help. I like the 9901 and the 41021. Now, that's the only pipe that I've put on here. But I ran a lot of point twenty ones, Mostly, yes, modified with different pipes. The next pipe I'm going to try, the pipe that came on this thing that the guy had on here, which I haven't ran yet. I don't even know if I want to run it because I've ran this pipe. It's so a Dynamite 053. The Dynamite 053 is a great, a good pipe. Um, I don't never ran it on a point twenty one. I don't think. No, I don't think I have. Maybe once. It, this is designed uh, for top end. It's mid and top. Doesn't have a lot of bottom. But what this motor is good on is this motor is really good on a bone stock twenty eight point eight Rex Legend. Now I've ran this 053 Dynamite on a stock. So for those of you that have a stock. Nova Rossi 28.8 Rex Legend. If you haven't tried it, try an 053. These things have enough bottom and enough torque, okay, to pull this pipe through the mid and the top. Because it's a mid and top pipe. And this thing, this for whatever reason, this combo, it, you know, stock, Nova Rossi loves this pipe. I've ran it plenty of times. Um, I've even had it in here, pulling the front end up on this fat 15 pound pig over here. The XTM Muggy. Um, now modified? No. But, and it's good on fuel mileage. The motor ran cool. Tuned really well. So, I mean, I recommend it, you know, based on my experiences for a stock 28.8. You can get them at Amy and they're like 50 something bucks. Um, so anyway, this P3 is nasty. We, I got it dialed in. Um, um, as you guys seen... Idles really well. Idles very low. Um, I mean, it's it's said it's got like maybe I ran a few more tanks after that video. I, it's probably got a dozen tanks through it. Um, I'd say it's got at least a half gallon of fuel, which is nothing. This thing's brand new. It, it probably doesn't even have half gallon of fuel. Maybe. Let me see. Five tanks per quart. Yeah, half gallon. It's got about a half gallon. Um, it, it's you know like most Novarossis, it's gonna get stronger, but it, it's a really good motor. I mean, I'm really really. Um, Impressed, and that's coming up from from me. That's saying a lot because I point twenty one stock don't do a lot. This thing gets 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 pretty busy. Um, and the ninety nine oh one Novarasi pipe and the forty one oh two forty one oh two one I like. So twenty ones. Now, as I said, in the past, Muggy doesn't. I don't praise twenty ones, but I mean, I'm look look at the twenty ones. I have more twenty ones than I have big blocks. So that means I'm going to have to get big blocks now. I'm going to have to get more. Okay. I've got the Pico .28. The Novorossi .28. Modded. And the other one, 28 modded. RCR modded, which we have swapped now. We're going to continue uh, probably in the next couple of videos the uh, .28 shootout. Now it's it's RCR mods 28 Rex Legend R RCR versus RB mods. Now, like I said, I just took the it's the same setup that I had in the Truggy and I dropped it in here. So we're running the um, we're running a 14 pinion now instead of the 16. We're running a 14 four she serpent clutch that I have in here with I believe two Max Life and two Serpent. Um, the serpents are aluminum. The Mac, I, rec I like to run two composite and two aluminum. I've just always done that. I've done all the other combos and all aluminum, all composite, but this works best. Um, you, and, and on mod motors, um, I'm usually running light and medium springs. Never I will I run heavy springs. You can, and it's fun for shit and giggles. This, the thing, it'll just hook up and pull the front end up, like, even more than it already does. But it's, it'll just eat up your, your brake pads. So at 20 to 30 bucks for a set of brake pads, yeah, that wouldn't be too wise. Unless you got tons of them laying around, then by all means, knock yourself out. But, um, so this is, you know, 41032, 9886, 
um, RCR modded okay in the Mugen now it's all cleaned as you guys see there's the back clips missing look at this thing this is how the front look can you guys see that look at her she's, she's pretty filthy and we're, yeah we ripped uh, everything else um, front clip completely torn apart um, cleaned um, little side tip for those of you that uh, looking for a, a, a very efficient and expensive way to clean simple green simple green not ho spraying it off simple green and hosing it off I take simple green I put it in um, my giant where's it I do I put it under my thing I put it in my giant measuring cup right here put it in my microwave four or five minutes heat that shit up hot simple green like a 50 50 mix take it put it in my uh, there's my cleaning bucket there was some more simple green there put it in there all the plat everything but the bearings and the shocks as far as like your front end and it just the it just the hot simple green takes off the dirt you have to do very little scrubbing I don't care how dirty it is um, obviously you, you got to take the bearings out first and don't put the shocks in there but everything else you know you pretty much drop it and then the same I'm gonna do with the rear clip I'm gonna take the bearings out of here I'm gonna disassemble most of this um, shocks are already off um, and I don't you don't put obviously you don't put the center um, center gearbox with the diff in there but you put your uh, a or you know a and B or C and D whatever um, blocks your hinge pin carriers you uh, arms um, shock tower um, turnbuckles brace you can even take off your um, drive shaft I know on the Mugen just the drive shaft take it off guards um, rear, rear um, knuckles uh, or rear hub carriers even the rear drivetrain all that hot simple green maybe 15 minutes or so take it out air it out silicone the hell out of it reassemble it center center box um, I don't open it up I just check it to make sure it's you know it's still good um, doesn't have to be rebuilt um, on the Mugens as you can see re-grease the gear gear thing if your gearbox is uh, like the Technos is sealed you don't got to worry about it just clean up around it get really good um, I throw triflow or, or whatever bearing grease bearing oil you have and both of the outer drives and the front drive and uh, put her back together silicone the hell out of it and you're good anyway so she's clean ready to go now I took the RB modded that we ran out of here with the 16 pinion like I said I'm leaving it the same I'm interested to see how the 16 pinion is gonna do on the Mugen Truggy <laughs> um, so we got the RB modded same clutch setup these are has all max life um, and it has a low C clutch in here uh, with a 16 red uh, pinion um, we've got the Triton 2148 as you can see all polished it was pretty dirty uh, we polished it I polished my pipes after every time I run it you do whatever the heck you want to each his own I pay a hundred dollars for my Italian pipes I clean them every time I don't care um, so you guys know the deal on cleaning your pipes right Brasso it's all I use so anyway this thing's clean ready to rock and roll we got um, this is the whole 41021 that's what's cool about what I like about this Triton pipe is you don't have to change you just keep the header and the pipe the same you can put it on a stock 21 28 32 oh yeah we do still have the 32 that's the other big one I got so I haven't got around to that um, I um, still haven't got the the size tap that I am just gonna go buy another set of small uh, taps so I can tap it out talk to Lance he said if you want you can send you can send it to me I can fix it or I can just order you another one and mod it and send it to you you don't need to send me the motor he said but as much as that might cost you you might just buy another motor <laughs> I said well that ain't happening because I'm not buying another point thirty two I'm gonna fix that one up shelf it run it every once in a while have no interest in it um, I'm seriously thinking about um, a Roma point twenty five um, if I can get the piston and the sleeve with it since it's discontinued but anyway we're gonna rock the RCR modded 20 I mean uh, 
the the RB modded 20 point Rex Legend in the buggy in the uh, Mugen Truggy MBX7 race Truggy and we're gonna rock the um, RCR modded remember this thing's got maybe a dozen maybe a half gallon through it now if that so just gotta put the rear clip on um, and she's ready to go so anyway my 21 pea shooter collection now I've got a mixture I've got some rice burners you know these are my favorite 21 pipes um, this is the one I ran today in the uh, P5 um, and again I clean my pipes man look I clean them all the time take notes people if you want your shit to perform because believe it or not, letting your pipes get built up with shit all over it, and even, and even in the inside, it will affect your performance. Trust me. Do your homework. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, um, the 9901 with the 41021 on the P5. Now, there is a pipe in here, I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, that I just got. Now, I'm going to show you some goodies. I have another motor. Um, my cousin brought over all the other goodies that came with this uh, Techno buggy so I mean we've got I've got some goodies they're not like goodies like unboxing goodies but this this thing came with a lot of shit trust me people for 300 bucks I scored like big time I feel like giving the guy another 100 bucks I feel like I robbed him but he said that's all he wants man so I'm like okay so anyway obviously um, the 9901 41021 I like a lot of people claim it's a it's a rate for racing, short course or whatever race tracks. Um, you guys seen it run today on the uh, P5, man. This thing is a nasty pipe, man. It's it runs very well on that on that. I've never run it on anything else, um, so it's not. I don't want to say it's still under question, but as far as what else it runs good on, sure it is. Because I don't know how every motor is going to run different. This might run different on the Reds. It might run different on the OS. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, might run different on a mod compared to stock because I've got modded and stock 21. So, but anyway, on a stock Novorossi P5, this is a, it's a badass combo right here. Plenty of bottom, plenty of mid, and you've seen it. It screams its ball sack off. It was hitting some some serious high notes, and I wasn't even pegging the throttle like, you know. I was pegging the throttle, but I wasn't holding it. It had more, and I didn't lean it too much. I, I Like I said, you guys know the muggy. I like to run my shit rich. I'd rather have the protection than, than have, you know, throw a rod. So anyway, good combo. I like that on that motor. This one here is one that I just acquired. Now, I didn't know when he brought me over, because I never really went through the box of stuff. He just brought over the, the Techno and a few other things. Do you guys even know what this is? Do you have any idea what I'm holding in my hand? This is the equivalent to like a unicorn in 8 scale nitro. Uh, because you hear about them. You see pictures of them. But you very rarely actually, you know, see one in person. This is my first. And this is, if you guys don't know, one of the pipes that I that I want to, to finish. I don't want to say finish, but in my collection. Ofna 086. When I seen this, I said, told my cousin, I'm like, are you kidding? Is that an 086? He goes, yeah, I forgot to tell you, this came with it too. I'm like, oh, snaps. This is a bad-ass pipe. Equivalent of a 9986, equivalent of a, a Dynamite 086. Just ask Mr. Zah. He knows about this. Now, I know there's different versions. I don't know, um, you know, they're, as far as like, chrome polish and all that um this one is in good shape there's nothing wrong with it man i mean it has if you look at it it has a few you know pits and stuff here and there but i cleaned it up pretty good it came it was it was pretty dirty um but it's i don't know man we're gonna rock this thing <sighs> smells dusty inside i just smelt it <laughs> smells smells dusty like it's been sitting like remember all this stuff that i got that's been sitting for about four or five months um, so anyway, which isn't that long, but I want to run, the, I want to try this with the regular header on the P5. Like for me, I think the bet, I mean, 
in my opinion, I think the best way to, to really test pipes, um, especially point tw obviously point twenty one pipes, is not just on a point twenty one, like obviously, but on a stock. This motor is bone stock and still brand new. So why it's because it's a bone stock and it probably won't stay that way because, you know, the, the how the muggy is. If this thing's, if I think it's nasty and and you know. Pretty badass for a stock? Well, guess what? That means I want to go next level. <laughs> we want to take. We want to get this thing modded. Because if this isn't a badass stock, we'll wait till it gets modded. This thing will be freaking nasty, beastly, freaking evil animal. <laughs> and that's what the muggy's looking for. Okay? Because like I said, stock yeah doesn't do much for me. Okay. So anyway. So I want to try this 086, but I also want to take this 086 Ofna um, and put the 41032 header on it. And how about we put the 086 Ofna 41032 header. Matter of fact, I might pull the Pico pipe off of there right now because I have the Pico in here and the Techno with the uh, uh, P3.28 modded by RB Mods. I have that. Pico pipe, which is a good pipe. I like the way it sounds and it, it performs pretty well. Doesn't have a lot as as much bottom end punch as the 9886 though, or the the Triton. So, how about we take this 086 Ofna and we throw the 41032 header on this sucker, and we and we and we see what it does in there. That's that's what I'm thinking, because I I've ran that combo. On that motor already. It's not like I want. You know, I want to start experimenting. Okay, let's start. You know, checking out what pipes work with what. Now, there's certain pipes that I've done all the experiments with. Okay, this is new for me. 9901. It's my first one. It's the first time I ever ran it. This has never been ran. I've never ran it. Okay, so I don't have a little experience. Just go by what I heard or what I what I study and I did my homework on all this stuff. Don't get me wrong. You know the muggy does his homework. And the muggy, you know, I'm not gonna say anything that I don't have facts and, and and knowledge and information of. I'm not the guy like a lot of people out there that just wanna blurt stuff out and not do their homework first. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I need to do my homework and I need to make sure that if I'm gonna tell somebody something that you know, it's based on vital, it's based on creditable information. Is that even a word? Creditable information, which means I went to a person that has tons of experience, 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, years experience, and whatever it is that, that I'm researching, and go by what they tell me. But I still got to firsthand experiment myself. So then I can say, listen, this is what this and so-and-so said. This is what this 20-year veteran said about this. So his information is credible because he knows what he's talking about, obviously, because of his experience. But I need to gain my own experience, too. And then I can say, based on my experience, either, yeah, he was right, or you know what, he was right, but I noticed in my situation, do you guys know what I'm saying? Am I losing anybody anywhere? <laughs> Am I getting too technical for you guys? I mean, that's just how I roll. That way there's no... If, ands, or but, okay, the muggy doesn't know what he's talking about, doesn't know what he's doing, blah, blah, blah. Hey, how does he have any proof? Well, we don't need to talk about proof because I always show proof. Proof is in the pudding. Talk's cheap. And that just goes for all you people out there that like to talk up a good game, like to bang your lips, beat your, you know, bump your gums. They, you know how they say, bump your gums, but you have no evidence of what you're talking about. Either you don't have a channel, you just have some blank face, which means you're more than likely a troll, or you don't, uh, you know, you don't, you don't even do nitro. <laughs> you're just a looky loo. You know, which a troll, same thing. So anyway, I have a lot of experience in this works. This works, which is the 2058. This is the combo. This is how it comes. A main, it's like 100 bucks. Great pipe for 21s, modded, stock. This pipe kicks ass. Lots of bottom, mid, and screams top end. It's it's a good, you know, straight 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 across the board through the whole power band. Good pipe. I like this pipe. This one, I've only ran it a handful of times. Um, if you notice, well, 
let me see, yeah, out of all the pipes, if you compare, this red's 2104 is the longest. It's as long as, the 053 is a little bit longer, just a little bit, but it's almost the same size. And what I've noticed with my experience, what I've experimented with, the longer the pipe, the more top end, less bottom end you're getting. And usually a good mid. That's why these these medium sized fat, I call them fat pipes, so it's like pregnant, you know, like a fat pregnated pipe, how this is. See, this one's a little bit, this is completely unique because, I mean, look at the end. This has, doesn't have the normal end. See the end of the 9901? I believe that gives it that edge on the top. If you remove that piece, it becomes a bottom and mid. This is where the top is. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just guessing that's what it is, but that's what I feel when I run this pipe because these pipes are all bottom and mid pipes, but this one has has pretty nasty top end. This one, I don't know. Like I said, the, the 086, I don't know yet. We have I have to run it. But, I mean, if you look at the 086, look at the same shape. It has the same shape as the 98. These, all three of these. The works. Okay, right? Look at the, the, the works. You know, a little bit longer. Okay, this pipe screams. Look at the, uh, the 086. Pretty similar shape. To the, uh... 9886. Look at the Triton. Similar. Look at the works. Similar. You see where I'm getting at? So these, I mean, that's why, I mean, and I've ran um, most of these, you know, except for, you know, this is the only one that I haven't ran yet. But anyway, this Reds is really good top end. Um, doesn't have a lot of bottom end. Um, but it's a good mid and top pipe. Um, so if you have a motor that just doesn't have a lot of top end, there you go. Mr. Tune. Bam. <laughs> 2104. Okay, so motors. I've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6.21s. Um, and, oh, we have one more. <laughs> I forgot about this one. Now this one came with the stuff. I didn't know. My cousin's bringing me all this shit, and I go, what else did it come with? Because he didn't bring it all over at once. He just bring me, you know, he just bring me the 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 whip. Um, but he said it came with a bunch of stuff. I mean, he sent me pictures. So anyway, in here is another .21. So the monkey's got .21 coming out of his ear, ears. This is a, it's a, what is it? It says it on the box. Elite 5 off. Long stroke. So this is basically the same as this motor right here. I don't I think it's a newer one because the head's purple, but when I looked at it I was like, oh snaps. Look at that. Tore up from the flora, people. But hey, it's free. It came with all the other stuff, so I I can't really complain. Now, I might just keep it for a parts motor. I mean, the carburetor, obviously, I can pull it off and use it. But it's brand new. And apparently, from what the guy says, this was um, broken in. Motor bath action by Adam Drake. So, that's what he said. I don't know. Unless there's any paperwork. Yeah, see, this motor is a 2018. The, the other Elite that I have is a 2015. Oh, look, it even has a stop, the carb setting. See, this guy did some racing, which is kind of weird because some of the stuff that he did is kind of, he must have been a rookie racer. But anyway, so I got another point twenty one. So we add that to the collection. I think the Novorossi pile people is getting large. I'm running out of room. Look at that. <laughs> and there's a couple I have with no boxes. Novorossi's. Look at all these. Let's see. One Pico, one LRP32. An OS, an Afna. This O, this Afna is the one. I, I don't know if I'm gonna the contest. By the way, I haven't seen any. Nobody's hit me up. Like maybe one person or two people. I said if there's not ten people, no go. So 
I will, I'm officially announcing there is no contest. I mean, I gave plenty of guys, plenty of people. You guys, and I don't want to say you guys because it's not everybody. But, you know, it just goes to show. Even in, in Nitro, there's a, excuse my language, a lot of guys that are just lazy fuckers. Lazy fucks. They can't even get off their ass and make a video. And I'm sure there's all the excuses, and I've heard a lot of them already, you know. And I'm giving the free shit away. So, you know what? I'm not going to give away free stuff anymore. Only free shit that I'm giving away are to my close inner circle Nitro brothers. The guys up here that I have on the list. Okay? You know. Those, those are the guys that are going to get free, free goodies. You know? And yes... Wookie, you are on that list, so um, don't don't worry. <laughs> I won't leave you out. We're cool, bro. So anyway, these are just some of the pipes I have. You know, um, matter of fact, do I have the? Uh, let me check the uh, pico pipe on here. Yep, what Pico is it? I keep forgetting the number. 2120. And that's got the 41032 on it. That's a good combo. I like that combo. But uh, I think I want to try the uh, Ofno 86. So anyway, these 21s. This is my favorite, obviously. The Reds. RB modded. R5 Team Edition. R um, R5R. This one's pretty much stock. <laughs> the Elite. Now this one I might run just to see what it does. Because I have, it's got, the guy said he ran five tanks through it. Whatever, give her a few. He's probably ran a couple more. Always remember, whatever these people tell you they ran through their shit, just throw on, you know, double it. How's that? Or throw on, you know, uh, I ran, you know, a half gallon. Okay, you ran a gallon. Because <laughs> they never are going to tell you the truth. For the most part. This one is bone stock. Okay, never nothing done to, I've never even fired up. I don't know what this thing runs like. But from what I hear from Rick, the, that's the same block, pretty much the same thing as this thing. So, if this thing is nasty like the P5 for a bone stock, yeah, we're going to get this baby. I already said I'm going to get it modded. But I might just run it stock just to see what it does. You know? I mean, Nova Rossi is just the quality, man. It's just, they never cease to amaze me, man. That's why I, if something, you know... If, if Noborasi doesn't stick around forever, man, I'm going to be bummed out. Um, I'm just going to... They've already discontinued a lot of their motors. Um, stopped production on a lot of them. Mostly Noborasi's just putting out 21. So 25s, 28s, you know, even some of the older 21s, you know, the Bonitas. I think they have a new one out. That's what I told you guys. They have a new one out from Rick was telling me. Um, you know, the Palomas. Get those, man, because they're not going to be around forever. <laughs> Collect Novarossi's, trust me. I've got my own collection going over there, and I'm going to double that stack. I'm going to get another six Novarossi's at least. I want to have as many as I can because they're not going to be around forever. So anyway, then I got the OS. This one is modded. This one, I only ran once. You know, you guys seen on video. we we gotta, we got to put some more fuel through these things, man. Um, I kind of got out of the cycle that I do with my modded motors. You know, with Rick's motors, the 21 Novarossi's, uh, the tw this one here, the .21 Reds R5R Team Edition, uh, RB modded. This was the first one I broke in, modded motor. Then I broke in, no, I broke in the Nova. Then I broke in this one. Then I broke in the Pico. And I continued that cycle till I got about two gallons. And then they pretty much, most of them were creeping up on around three gallons. Um, so I got out of that with, with these, mainly because the LRP32 had issues with it and everything. But i got to get back to cycling more fuel through this because it doesn't even have two quarts through it. Well, it's probably got mm, maybe a half gallon, barely. So we got to run it, you know, run some more fuel through this. This one, this one was the one I was going to give away to some lucky person. But guess what? She's staying in my collection. Went and giving her away. You know, like I said, people don't want to make videos. I'm trying to give away shit. Whatever. I mean, I've given away plenty of shit already. Uh, so, I, I mean, I really, you know, don't need to give away anything. Like I said, to my close inner circle of gearhead brothers, 
um, they'll get goodies. And I, you know what? I'm looking at another Reds. Am I going to pay four or five hundred for a Reds? Hell no. But if I can find another one of those team editions, the racers, okay, this is like Reds budget motor. Um, this one, the R5R team edition is like the next grade up. I mean, you can tell, look, this has a nice back plate, right? It looks pretty clean, right? Yeah, it's decent. But it's not like this. See that? That's a diamond cut, people. That's a badass back plate. So, if I can find another one of these R5R team editions, I'll buy one at a good price. Um, I still want a Dynamite 086. Um, and then, all I pretty much need is a, uh, I mean, there's other pipes, but those are the only pipes that I want. I've got the 86 now, off now. I need a Dynamite 86. And I would say the, the ERCM end bleed, but, yeah, I really don't care about that. It's too much of a pain in the ass to get it. I know people that have been waiting since January this year and still haven't got one. My cousin, he just chopped up $300 because he doesn't think he's going to get it. Robin doesn't return emails, nothing. So I don't know what the deal is with that, you know. Hey, it's something about these, these Canadians. <laughs> Aquafina, good shit. So anyway, yeah. 20, .28 shootout. Now, what I was going to do, and I'll throw, this to, I'll throw this out to you guys. You guys tell me what you think. So, we're, you know how we're comparing, you know, mod, modders. Rick versus Lance. RB Mods versus RCR. Same motor. Same setup. Two different whips. Checking them both out in the truggy. Checking them both out in the buggy. Now, we're going to see how the RB Mods with, with, with this hookup, how it performs in the buggy. I mean, in the trucking. And we're going to see how this one, the RCR modded 28 Rex Legend, how it performs in the buggy. So kind of a .28 shootout, buggy versus muggy, uh, buggy versus truggy. Um, I was thinking of even throwing in the Pico, just to, for shits and giggles. Throw it in the mix. Who knows, the P Pico might come out on top. <laughs> it's a badass motor, man. I love that motor. Um, you know what was cool about working on this thing, tearing it down? Because I tore this thing down and polished every nut and bolt. Um, it is very similar to that. What I figured out is the guy that had it, the reason that these are this color, is because he stripped the, um, polished them out or stripped them or whatever. I, I know you can use easy, easy off oven stuff, and it'll take the, the anodizing or whatever off. Because these shock towers should be the same as mine on my truck. They should be this color. They shouldn't be this color. The towers or the top of the caps. So somehow he, he stripped that all off and just made them raw like this. Which is okay. I think it looks pretty cool. You know? I mean, uh, throw on the carbon fiber, you know? So, yeah, we're going to try some different pipes. Run some more fuel through here. Uh, I might pull that motor out. I might put my OS in there or I might put the reds in there. See how that goes. Okay, so, oh, one other thing, too. Check this out. Remember my mom got me those knives, right? Look at these things. These things are freaking sharp as hell. You can use these for some unboxings. Now, mom's, uh, you know, mom's been very, very giving lately, in the giving mood. <laughs> my, mom's, my mom is badass. So, I'm going to show you something that she just gave me. I was going to unbox it. Well, I unboxed it today, but I didn't want to do it on video. It, it, it's not a big deal. But look. Bam. What? Did mom just hook the muggy up with like a serious professional, like, restaurant type oven? Look at that shit. Is that badass or what? <laughs> I could throw a turkey in this thing. Matter of fact... I think I might this year. Might have my daughters over. Help them help me cook. Oyster. It's pretty cool, huh? I did uh, toast toast some buns in there. I mean, you could I cook anything in there. I think I'm gonna have to do one of these because Muggy does have sweet tooth. You ever had these? Just add water. You can make muffins. You can make a cake. Whatever. Hell yeah. That and some milk. It's on and cracking, people. 
Or there's nothing like homemade chocolate chip cookies. And my mom just makes some badass blueberry muffins too. But anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. So I mean my mom my mom hooked me up, man. I love my mom to death. Um she just she's like, Well, I guess most of your Christmas presents are out of the way. I'm like, Hey, that's cool with me. The only other thing I'm gonna see if she <laughs> my birthday's in January. I want the other piece that goes to this. There's another piece that has drawers and a cabinet, but it doesn't have the back thing. And it sits a little bit lower here. And I can move stuff around and I can put it in here. It's like a second piece to this. It goes with that cabinet. We'll see. My mom's, you know, probably going to be like, really? But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Oh, huh. you guys are probably, I don't know if you guys, did you guys notice this? <laughs> Remember the T-Max that I had? Well, this is my cousin's daughter. Daughter's monster truck. She calls it her monster truck. T-Bag. Okay? The other two that I did, I mean the other, not the other two, the other one that I did, um, oh yeah, the other, this is a different one. The other two that I did um, were his, his boys. This is his daughter's, but... Um, it had all, it was pretty much stock. Um, over the last couple days, um, he brought over all these upgrades and I upgraded it for him. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, you guys know me, I'm not a Traxxas guy, but all these things that I put on here, like, I don't know, this thing is pretty much all aluminum now. <laughs> he wants me to try to find him an aluminum skid plate for the front here. And one for the rear. <laughs> now keep in mind, he knows I hate Traxxas. But I can't say no because it's his kids, you know. At first I was like, are you sure this isn't yours? And you're just telling me it's your daughter's? He goes, no. He goes, you know, I'm bringing, he's bringing over a, uh, another, he has another T-Max and he has a, he says he has a low seat that he wants me to rebuild for him. So, these are for his kids. He had me put all these upgrades on. Like I said, I mean, this stuff, I, I think it's ugly. I don't mean personally because I don't like the teal aluminum anodized. But I mean, this isn't no stock uh, tea bag. I mean, look at the rims. The rims, these are aluminum. Very rare. He said he got them from like hobby people like a long time ago. He got them on another truck. They're aluminum. Machined aluminum rims. I mean, the spindles or whatever is in there, the arms, all that shit's in there. It's all aluminum, man. I gotta clean it up some more. I threw in the, um, the high, the, uh, Protex in here. By the way, I love these Protex. Running them in here today. Man, these things, plenty of power, plenty of torque. Um, this motor, I don't know what kind of motor it is. I'm not sure. Doesn't I don't can't read the name of it. I don't think it has a name on the block. You guys are probably tripping out like, dang, Muggy. How in the hell you let all these Traxxas vehicles in here? You know what? I'll be honest with you. As much as I hate Traxxas, this actually is pretty cool looking. I mean, it's still, you know, the, 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 the whole thing is, is the DNA of these things are garbage. It's a shame. Because, I mean, the design isn't that bad. You know, except for the two-speed reverse. I wouldn't have that shit in there. You know, and the easy start bullshit, which he doesn't use that, thank God. This motor has never been fired up, he said. Never. Um, it's a .18 something. I don't know what kind of motor it is. Could be an Atom because of the, uh, see that Atom logo-like? So, I don't know. It's .18, though. But I... Put the plug out, pulled the plug out, and threw some uh, three in one in there. And uh, she's got lots of pinch. Can't even pull it. There we go. I gotta make sure I set that piston bottom, bottom dead center. So we don't want that piston sitting up in there. Even though I, I wouldn't give a shit <laughs> because it's a Traxxas. <laughs> hey man, I can't. The muggy does have heart. Come on, people, give me some credit. As much as I hate Traxxas's, Traxxas's, 
to let these things even in my room? Shoot. Like I said, it belongs to his daughter, so... I mean, uh... Even if it didn't... Even if it was his, it's, it's family, man, you know? Take care of family. Family's more important than anything. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna do some things to this. We're gonna dial it in. He gave me a remote control. Uh, we have a Spectrum. See that in there, people? Brand new Spectrum. Um, that's what he wants. Because I guess it didn't have a radio or anything, so that's what he wants in here. So I'm gonna install it. I installed the Protex. We got the Spectrum in there. Now, check this out. Also, with that stuff, not only did I get an 086 pipe, an extra motor, two motors, because I got the P5. Look at all this stuff that I got. I don't even know what the hell half this is. Look at this. Air filter cleaner. I've got all kinds of uh, shock oil paint. Some older Losi shock oil. I don't know how old it is. This is, I'm going to use the hell out of this. I was like, yeah, bam. White lithium grease. Look at people. This is, uh... Air filter oil. Kind of weird, air filter oil. This has to be some kind of after run. This could be air filter oil too, though. Uh, I don't know. There's all kinds of shit in here. I mean, this came with it. I think this is an after run oil in here. I kind of smelled it. It smells like a little bit of uh, uh, marble. But, uh, yeah, I've got diff fluids. You know, 5,000, which could use for racing. Um, 50 weight. What else do we got? 2,000 diff oils. Yeah, so it's got like racing uh, oil. So I got that. And check this out. More goodies. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I got hooked up. A bunch of bearings. By the way, these are good bearings. TRBRC or TB. Is it TB? TRB? Whatever. It's uh, TRB. Good bearings. Not too expensive. Uh, I don't know. I don't even can't believe this is even in here. This is a lipo. 3,000, I think, is for the bump box. Um, I really don't... Man, I'm paranoid of these things, man. I don't even want it in here. Um, air filters, line, all kinds of miscellaneous extra parts. This I can use. Techno um, for the diffs. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I got all kinds of goodies, man. I got hooked up big time. So, anyway, there's another hour of the muggy. Okay, people, so that's all I got. Yes, um, family is first. It's the only reason I'm doing this work for him. I mean, he's paying me and taking care of me and stuff. and um, You know, but more importantly, it's it's for his kids. And, you know, it's, he's family. So it um, doesn't matter what they're running, man. Now, if this was somebody else, this shit, this shit would never even be in here. So don't get that twisted, people, okay? Muggy's not getting soft, okay? Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Going to get the Mugen put back together. Then we are going to run the... You know what? I, I want to take a break. And I'm going to run this thing, I think. I haven't ran my Techno in a while. i got to run my Techno. I ran the, the Truggy Mugen uh, MBX7. Okay, ran the buggy. I know I'm doing the shootout thing, but I might have to take a break from the shootout. I mean, I already took a break in doing all you know this thing right here. So this thing's cool, you know, um, but I, I need to I need to run my Techno. I need to run my Techno, and I want to run that 086 um, um, off in the pipe with the 41032, and we'll see if this thing, if, if that 086 off is what everybody says it is. If it's that bad of a pipe, we'll find out. And the Pico's just the one to test it, people. So anyway, um, that's pretty much all I got. Um, shout out to Audrey Perez. Um, where are you, Audrey? Because I think he sent me a text. i got to check my text or email. I know he should be sending me that body, or I should be getting that body soon. So when I get that, I'll uh, show it to you guys. We'll do a little unboxing and kind of maybe take you through the process of how I do the picture art painting. Man, i got so much going on right now. I don't even, I can't even believe I'm doing this video. Uh, you guys probably won't get another video out of me probably till this weekend. What's today? Uh, yeah, you're not going to get another video till. uh, 
probably Sunday night. So anyway, you guys got plenty to watch. Um, I've given you enough videos um, to hold you guys, um, keep you guys busy watching videos. Man, I've got projects, projects, uh, you know, projects. i got to get the XTM muggy going again. I'm waiting for the uh, one-way bearings uh, to come in so I can put it together. And then I'm going to hunt down one of those center discs. It's 100 bucks, but I'm probably going to end up getting one for it because it'll just be a lot less headaches um, with the center diff and that thing and less wear and tear on the, the gearboxes. So anyway, um, we're going to continue to shoot out. We're going to do, you know, the Byron's versus... Uh, um, bones. When 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 I get to around ten gallons, I'll let you guys know, and I'll keep you posted. So, all right, people. So that's all I got. Remember, whatever you do, do whatever makes you happy. Okay, do whatever makes you happy. Whatever puts a smile on your face. Turn that. What they say? Turn that frown upside down. Um, this is just what I do. This is just how I roll. Um, this is just what works for me. These are the, just the results that I get. Um, feel free to ask me questions when everybody, I never, you know, I try to get back to as many of you as I can. The only dumb question is the one you don't ask. So anyway, we have another, I might as well tell you guys this, I wasn't going to say anything, it was going to be a surprise. But we got another family member going to be introduced to the muggy. Yes, the muggy is, I've got the motors, I've got the pipes, i got to get caught up on whips. Got the buggy. Although there will be another buggy coming. You guys already know what it's going to be. But more importantly, I think tomorrow, yeah, I believe tomorrow, um, I will be receiving another family member to introduce into the muggy family. That's all I'll tell you. You guys see it when it gets here. All right, people. Um, no matter what happens and during the course of your day, at the end of the day, no matter what the results are, okay, as long as you gave it 110%, no matter what happened, even if the wheels came completely off, as long as you gave it 110% or 100%, and you can look yourself in the mirror and say that you gave it all you had, regardless of the results, you got ahead that day. Okay? Remember that. All right, people. That's all the muggies got. Peace.